Welcome back. In the second half of this week, we're actually making some parts, but there were still a few things left to do in preparation. So one thing was to cut out some core for the roof braces. So here you can see uh, from this uh, one inch core here, just cutting out um, the pieces that sort of sit in the roof braces. And again, just using the quarter inch uh, acrylic bit on the end mill. And here you can see the part um, is actually cut out and just using the router there um, to round off the edges so it'll fit uh, snugly into the part when it uh, gets laid up in the mold. And so just running the router down there, down that edge there, puts a nice radius on it. And it doesn't take long at all to do that. So here's the process actually laying up the uh, one of the roof braces. And excuse the shaky video, I was sort of experimenting with holding the GoPro to see how that would work out. But anyway, let's go through the process. So um, there's going to be, I think it was uh, eight core eight basically is what the layup schedule is. So there's uh, four layers of heavy carbon and uh, two layers of medium carbon to be laid down um, in a specific order. So Jeff was actually taking the time like this um, in this respect to uh, give us a bit of a tutorial on, on the things to look out for when laying up parts. And initially he'll be doing all the part layups just because there's a lot, lot of things to be aware of compared to uh, when we're making molds. So we were just all watching and sort of, you know, learning what was going on with this process. So here he's laying down um, the heavy layer and, and then a medium layer. Um, and then you see with a roller, rolling that all in. Of course, every time he puts down a layer, he's wetting it out and paying particular attention to make sure that the fabric isn't getting stretched in any one direction because it needs to sort of be laid out um, without you know pulling it one way or another. And now he's putting that core in there and that had been scored so it would sit down. And then the next thing, uh, the peel ply goes on there and that stops um, the uh, resins from um, sort of soaking through onto the next uh, layers that allow it to um, be vacuum bagged correctly. So just finishing up there with the peel ply and just, you know, little little bits in the corners there just because that stuff doesn't uh, bend very well. And then this is a layer of uh, breather fabric, which is perforated to allow uh, air to be sort of pulled away from uh, the part when it's being vacuum bagged. So again, that has to sort of cover everything and it's, it's not very flexible either. So you've got to cut little small pieces in the corners. And the next is the sort of cotton breather fabric there which allows the air to be pulled away from um, the mold and out through the vacuum. And then a little bit of extra at the end there that was where the uh, connection can be put in. And lastly, um, the bag is put on and using the sort of green sticky um, gum stuff that's sort of sealed around the edges there. And finally, uh, we bring in the vacuum system and uh, hook it up there with um, one of the frog connectors, as they're known. And and draw the vacuum on there. So here you can see there's the frog going on and hooked up to the vacuum. And there's the finished result sitting there under vacuum and you can see that the sort of blotchy areas where the resin is pulling nicely through um, to the breather fabric the way it's designed to do. So that um, that's the first one done. So next up uh, was the forward bulkhead and won't go through the whole process of showing you everything that's happening, but here's Jeff just sort of starting it out. And just a little bit of video here um, on the time lapse, um, showing you kind of the process. And again, that was just first layer laid down and Jeff sort of wetting it out and working way around and then you know trimming off the edges so it doesn't um, impact or get up near where the seal area is for the bagging. And then ultimately, this is what it looks like uh, when it's all done. So that's basically bagged and vacuumed and all that good stuff. So pretty happy with uh, the process for doing that. And again, we'll be redoing this uh, forward bulkhead, simplifying it for customer aircraft. So here we are the next day in the, the roof brace. The first one that was done has been popped from the mold. And there you can see it's just rough around the edges uh, where it was all laid up and it's ready for uh, a bit of trimming there on the table saw. So um, just trim it off and leave enough flange there for bonding against the, the roof of the aircraft. So you can see there Jeff's just taking off um, about an inch 
inch and a half off the sides just to clean it up and leaving uh, probably another good inch past the actual uh, brace itself. And this thing weighs um, just under three pounds, or actually I think it was just over three pounds, but man, it is strong. You try and push on that brace and it does not flex at all. So it's, you know, the design of it for basically being a roll cage there on the roof um, is exactly what we're going for. Okay, so the next day, uh, the, the uh, second roof brace had to be done. So there it is actually all completed. And that's actually the following day because it's, it's already been bagged and, and, and cured and everything. So the vacuum's been removed. And then there was that little brace uh, for the rear pressure bulkhead between that and the aft bulkhead. And there it is actually finished and popped out of the mold and even um, mostly trimmed off the backside of it. And that thing doesn't weigh anything because it just has the lightweight core in it, a one inch core in it. Um, I think it, I don't even know how much it weighs. It's just feather light. And so there's the second brace um, popped out the next day, this Friday. And so that's been popped out and trimmed off and it's actually just sitting back in its mold there. And there it is um, pulled out of the mold, flipped over. So you can see and that, that one came out nice as well. So both roof braces are done and the uh, rear pressure bulkhead small brace is done there. So when you'll be able to see all this carbon fiber on the inside of the cabin, you know, until we sort of cover over and put a roof liner in there. But there you can see it close up, looks super nice. We're happy with that. And in the meantime, um, the guys are still working on uh, finishing off some more of the plugs. So here's that new aft bulkhead one um, with another coat of primer on there. And here you can see uh, with the guide coat and a little bit further along, um, getting sanded again and we've decided to skip the process of doing the final black coat so things will speed up more with this process and this was the last one that actually got the black coat so that's that rear pressure bulkhead that we had the adjustment on and that was uh, sprayed in black on, on Thursday and uh, then uh, Devin got on that and was uh, wet sanding it uh, yesterday and you can see sort of halfway through doing the wet sanding process there just got the top basically done so just taking the shine off of that but uh, as I was saying we won't be uh, doing that in black anymore so it's going to save us a step just be um, doing stuff in a primer and then pulling moles directly off of that because it's it's sufficient for what we need so that's that one done and, and uh, waxed I believe and then uh, here's the forward bulkhead popped out of the mold and trimmed off as well so um, that came out pretty well. There's a couple of little imperfections in there, but uh, expected because of the complexity of the channel that's in there for the spar. And uh, by removing that and simplifying that, we'll have uh, less problems with uh, any little imperfections in the surface. But uh, the quality of that overall, um, from compared to some of the carbon fiber I've seen in, in different places, is actually came out really well. So here's the inside there, and you can see the hard points, how the sort of carbon fiber vacuum squashed in around that. And there's where the pressure um, outflow valves are going to go for the pressurization system. So that's uh, looking at the backside again. So finally I had the guys just hold the bulkhead in the fuselage mold to see how it looks and this is exactly how it's going to look inside the fuselage once that's done. So next week are more molds and more parts. Thanks for watching.